guys welcome back to world mechanics thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel if you guys have a jeep cherokee jeep compass jeep renegade with a 2.4 guys multi-air engine i'm talking about a 2.4 multi-air engine guys we'll show you how to remove and replace water pump today now as you can see the engine is out of the car that's a dodge jeep and chrysler engine it's used in fiat vehicles as well so uh, you do not have to remove guys your engine to replace water pump but by removing the engine we'll make probably about 100 videos on that engine alone uh, we will show you with great detail what needs to be done because otherwise it's so limited room that we cannot uh, fit the camera and show you what needs to be done uh, plus in addition guys every vehicle every car we get at the shop will make at least 200 videos because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can so please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys let's start on the water pump replacement now so before you guys remove your water pump i recommend to leave the car for one night so it can get cold make sure the engine's cold you will need to drain your coolant if you want to see how to drain coolant we have the video guys actually on our main channel it's called how to repair guys okay right there how to repair guys how to drain coolant guys on dodge uh, jeep chrysler 2.4 multi-air engine most of them will be that way once you drain your coolant guys if you most of you will know how to do that you'll be ready to go with uh, with, the, with the next step next step guys will be uh let me show you quick this is your water pump right there it's serpentine belt driven pump that's a good thing because some engines nowadays they use a timing chain driven water pump which is really hard to replace when that pump fails guys you can develop a leak from here it can get noisy wobbly and it can even destroy your belt if it develops too much of a play before you guys remove the belt things that you need to do these three bolts here you will need to get them loose okay a little bit you can see like that otherwise you will not to get them loose uh, you will not be able to get them loose later because nothing will be holding that pump and it will be freely spinning if you need to see guys where we get the new pump okay new belts all that stuff we have the link in the description of the video below check it out that's for your convenience guys serpentine belt tensioner is right here we need a 16 millimeter socket we go counterclockwise now that belt is too too uh short so we cannot pull it from the alternator you have to go on the idle pulley okay like that get the belt out what we need to do next guys okay we need to go ahead and remove these three bolts on the water pump pulley and we'll be able to remove the pulley why we do that because we have five more bolts underneath that we need to remove and we'll show you where those are as well Perfect. You can see now guys, let me show you where your water pump bolts are located. Okay, you can see this is your water pump right here. Uh, and you have one, two, three, four and five bolts right there guys. Those are I believe 13 mm, 12 millimeter socket guys. It's actually 12 millimeter and we'll need to go ahead and remove all five of them now. That impact is amazing guys, check it out, we'll have it listed in the description of the video below. It saves you so much time. So, with the engine in the vehicle, you will not be able to use the impact, you just have to use the ratchet, but it's doable. We have a video even how to do it in the vehicle. We demonstrated on the Dodge Dart with the same engine. We go with a little bit, he has two guides. Okay, let me show you one guide right here on the pump one guide on the housing and this is your gasket always guys replace the uh, water pump gasket as well not just the water pump you have to always get a new gasket as well uh, again we will share the link in the description of the video below and see where we purchased ours from so putting the new water pump together it's uh, practically it's in reverse order we took it apart install your pump and gasket get it tight uh, if you want to see torque specs we'll have a video that will explain the torque specs on that engine most of the torque specs then you need to install your belt in reverse order we took it apart and you're ready to go thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time